In this video, we will show you how to make use of the class detection features in your DDS CAT viewer. First, make sure you have an IFC file opened. Next, select the class detection option from the tools menu. By default, DDS CAT viewer provides a number of class configuration templates. However, you have the flexibility to create personal class configurations as well. To do so, click on the plus symbol and enter a name for your class configuration. In this example, we will configure the clash detection to analyze possible issues between mechanical versus electrical, plumbing and structural elements. To do so, we select the mechanical category in the first column. In the second column, we will select the electrical category plus the plumbing category and lastly the structural category. Note that the slab is part of the architect category and will therefore be ignored in this case. We will mention about this later. If required, we can further fine tune the class configurations by defining specific tolerance levels. To run your class configuration, press the run button on the left. Whilst the class detection is running in the background, you are free to continue navigating through your model. Once the class detection run is finished, the issues dialog automatically pops up. In this case, our DDS CAT viewer found three clashes. By clicking on the clash between mechanical and electrical, we will see additional details of the clash. To isolate the clash, we can select one of the involved objects and use the function clip away surrounding geometry from the context menu. As you can see, the DDS CAT viewer automatically zooms to the clash and clips away the surrounding geometry to clearly show the clash between the lamp and air terminal. Let's also take a look at the second clash. We can apply the same procedure to isolate the clash. We will need to rotate the model because the clash is located underneath the floor. In this case, the DDS CAT viewer identified the clash between the extract air duct and drainage pipe. Moreover, the drainage pipe is clashing with the slab. However, we deliberately did not include this category in our configuration. Now let's take a look at the last clash between a duct and a structural beam. As we can see, the duct is going straight through the beam. To communicate model issues to other project members, the DDS CAT viewer provides an integrated BCF manager. To create a BCF entry, we select the clash on the left and open the context menu with a right mouse click. Next, we select the function create BCF entry from objects. The DDS CAT viewer creates an instant snapshot of the issue, here with saving the camera position and perspective. In addition, the objects involved in the clash are listed with the IFC GUID in this tab. The BCF entry can be further detailed by adding a descriptive title, author, status and comment. You can either export your BCF entries as a BCF zip file, send them by email or simply generate an HTML report.